Is it better to say Ameen out loud or silently when in the Jama'ah congregational prayer? This is something which the Fuqaha, the four Imams, the Madahib and the scholars have differed over classically and even in contemporary times. Um, and that's based upon the Hadith that are narrated on the issue and whether they are abrogated or not. And both actions have been narrated from the companions. So it's a genuine difference of opinion. And whatever opinion that you follow with respect to your own madhab or your scholar or your teacher or me, it is acceptable. Anyone who you're taking your religion from that is uh, uh, that has the qualification and is teaching you, it is permissible to follow their opinion on this as it is with the entirety of fiqh. Okay, fiqh is flexible in that matter and it goes by your ability. My personal opinion is that I follow that which is that the I mean should be said out loud in the loud prayers obviously. Don't want anyone in it to be going Ameen in the Dhuhr Asr, okay, you can cause an absolute riot. So in the Maghrib Isha, in the Fajr prayer, I do believe that it is the Sunnah. There are hadith from the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that established that very, very clearly. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also said that whoever's Ameen yani, uh, corresponds with the Ameen of the Imam and the Ameen of the angels, then their sins are forgiven. This is something which is heard, the narrations that talk about the reverberations of the masjid when the Ameen was said are authentic and correct and non-abrogated insha'Allah. So I do believe it is a sunnah to say Ameen out loud, but not madly, not yani, Ameen, trying to make a statement, trying to say, all right, I'm going to try and make the rafters shake myself. No, it's a low hum that was referred to by the companions, yani, where it feels like the ground is shaken. And that's because a lot of people saying it at the same time. And that's important. You don't say it by yourself. You wait for the Imam to start and you do it with them. And you don't make yourself, I mean, or I mean, these are two not correct ways. The word is I mean, it has to be balanced in the word as well. And uh, one other thing which is very important, um, if you are in a masjid, where it's clear, for example, those which follow the Hanafi school of thought, which are the strictest in this issue of not saying Ameen out loud in the loud prayers, then you shouldn't either. Okay, to say Ameen is a sunnah, but to keep the unity of the Muslims in any time, in any place is an obligation. And it would be absurd for a person in a Hanafi mosque, for example, where they're all silent and you, Yani Jack the Lad, give it Ameen, Yani, because you know, you're the hero and everybody look at me and oh, I'm so following the sunnah, right? You're not following no sunnah there. Okay, you may think you are, but if every Everyone is following an opinion which is a leading to a prayer which looks like and feels like in a certain way and you're bringing attention to yourself disturbing everyone this is not following the Sunnah this is ignorance and I'm very very clear about that and I know people will say how can you say that when the Prophet ﷺ did it no everyone was doing it they were educated they understood that they followed that opinion that's fine these folks I'm not saying they're not uneducated they're following a different opinion and a valid one and you shouldn't be causing you know just to upturn the cart for the sake of it okay, so I hope that that makes sense and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Hey, thank you for uh, watching and subscribe so you can continue to get the rest of the videos. I don't know whether somewhere over here, there, whatever, whatnot. Uh, it's beautiful, this, uh, this series of videos, Faith IQ, and we need your support. And that's by watching it, by sharing it, and then by donating towards it so we can continue to make more videos that deal with more of your issues. Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.